Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker Channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer, I shot this image for a long time ago. Jewelry shot, commercial. Well, lots of stones. I don't even know the names of the couple of stones. Well, I gotta check it out. Well, this is my subject today and uh, I have this pencil drawing type of image as well by Adobe Photoshop used filter called Find Edges and uh, well I'm gonna make something interesting kind of fun this is a watercolor palette something that's pretty interesting setting huh? well my director got this idea I think well okay uh, this is gotta be a little bit difficult because so many different stones. Every each stone has to have, has to be so nice stones, right? Now, sapphire and emeralds are kind of dark, so I'm I'm gonna make it lighter. Well, but uh, this is not job or anything. I already done this job. So I want to make this something creative image from these two. Let's see, let's get started. Okay, I'm going to check that uh, pencil drawing type, blend mode. Change to, well, let's see. This diamond's so big, huh? Hmm, interesting. Each stones, some blend mode has some interesting expression hmm this is nice 50% add these rubies emeralds sapphire especially sapphire has this base is pretty nice okay I'm gonna remember this add hmm overlay no this is pretty nice too vivid pretty interesting Especially this emerald. This normal image is pretty dark, but this green, nice. Is it? Pretty nice, yeah. Okay, I like this. Alright, I use this as a warm base, so I want to keep these lines first. So I'm going to make a group, then duplicate this group. Now flatten this image layers so I got this image now okay now turn it off to keep it now I'm going to change this blend mode again overlays pretty nice yeah use these stones some of them I'm going to select these two and uh, duplicate this layer then again flat flatten this image okay just turn it off to keep it this is stone colors, Sam. Then I'm gonna look for others. Much nice. This one was a, was an overlay. Well, before I forget, I'm gonna just rename this. This is screen, right? Now I got uh, changed names. Uh, this is screen effect. Not too much, too dark. And I have these stones, especially, well, maybe sapphire, ruby, and maybe diamond. These stones, nice. Yeah, I'm gonna use these too. Okay. Now, turn it off, this group, and uh, I may use this normal photograph, original. Well, this is original, I got renamed. Okay, now, just turn it off to keep it, this group. Bring this one back to normal. Just keep it. Now this is nice base image. Okay, move this one. Go. Well, break this group. I'm gonna move this pencil drawing type image also. I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. Then delete this group. Then turn it off to keep it this pencil drawing type. And uh, I'm gonna make mask on this original image. Now, invert mask. Let's find painting watercolor brush. 
Okay, I'm turn on the screen effect layer and then change the blue to darken so we can see through underneath of the original image. Now I'm gonna reveal touch more. Okay, from this sapphire, let's see. Okay, this overlay effect. Then we're gonna make mask, then invert mask. Reveal with, okay, I'm gonna use a little pine. These stones, especially sapphire and uh, rubies. And diamond. These are pretty nice. Then, okay, this one too. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna make mask on this pencil drawing type image. Make mask, then invert mask. Now I want to show the outlines, so reveal red. This time I'm going to reveal this airbrushing to medium blend. Show these subtle lines in this palette. Almost. Okay, now I want to show this emerald to be nicer. Well, maybe I can lighten up on this original image. Only for emerald. Okay, I'm gonna duplicate this layer and... Uh, okay, clear this mask. Then I'm gonna use adjustments to lighten up here. But I'm looking at only emerald. Use adjustments to curves. Now I'm gonna look at this only emerald. Now turn it up all the way. Then green goes up real nicely. Okay, that's it for now. And uh, I'm gonna invert this mask. Now reveal this mask with recent. Use a little pine, same brush texture use. Okay, about this much now. Now this is only for emerald. Pretty much okay for stones, but uh, let me see. From okay, now I want to add very top. I'm gonna add layer, then uh, fill layer with white. Reveal with, let's use Evolve. Now make mask. Okay, about this much. Then uh, I wanna see these dark lines. Let's see, gripping mask. What's this? Hmm, this is a good idea. Creeping mask works all right. Okay, show a little bit more. Okay, now let me see if I can add some colors on this layer. Okay, just a touch. I wanna show. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna review this. Okay, I guess that's it. That's it for today, and uh, thank you for watching my video. 
I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work. Well, working with the different blend mode to express some um, colors and contrast and and uh, using mask to selective some area and maybe add some colors and stuff well thank you again and uh, you guys have a nice day and i really appreciate for you guys support and uh, well see you next time bye now ciao